Hey guys, welcome to another video. Yo, how are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So, in today's video, we're going to be picking my June TBR. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. I love to do these videos, and we're going to be using the TBR jam. Honestly, I think I have noticed that when I pick like eight books or like seven books, I never finish reading those books <laughs> for some reason i get distracted by another book or i i'm just interested in reading another book at the moment and then i start to feel sad that oh i have read a lot of books yes but i still haven't read the ones that i wanted to read this month so in that case i think we're just going to do a little bit not so much because i don't want to feel sad i don't want to feel sad for picking you know for not reading them so we are going to be picking firstly the two that my brother and i wrapped yes so i'm going to pick one of those numbers this is now other to select because so we do this one first uh number 14 and i want to pick another number i want to pick two because those books are like my priority at the moment this is another one and 15 sorry it's upside down 15 14 and 15 oh okay oh my god i have to say that i picked one big book and one small book <laughs> this is number 14 uh yes let's see what, let me guess i honestly cannot guess it's not betrayed i can't guess what book this is but i'm excited and it's not Cersei. So you guys are going to see it first, as usual. Ah. Um. Okay. <laughs> I said you guys were going to see it first, but I ended up doing, being the one seeing it first because this is, this is was, this was what, what am I saying? Because this was what I opened my eyes to the girl with the louding voice i've heard quite a lot about this book i got it because i had it's very funny and also it has nigerian english nigerian pigeon english in it and if you guys don't know nigerian pigeon english is not really really english like that so instead of us saying how are you we say how you day and stuff like that so i want to yeah i think it's i time i read it already i'm excited about this then number 15 okay this one is i know what book this is i think it is one for not one for my enemy by olivia blake i'm not sure but yeah you guys are going to be the ones to look at it first as usual <laughs> my brother picked one ad back like this and i think i remember it being this one for my enemy see you guys i said you guys were going to be the first to see it but it was upside down <laughs> i'm right it's one for my enemy by olivia blake i i don't really know much about this book all i know that she's the same author as yeah the atlas six which i have not read but i do have it oh i kind of forgot that this this exists like the end cover wow wow but i do remember my friend promised telling me that this is one of our favorite books that it was so good so i'm excited about that so those are the two wrapped books done and dusted now let's pick the prompts i'm going to try my best to prioritize the ones on my book cart here because i don't know why a book with an ugly cover This prompt is very funny. <laughs> a book with an ugly cover. Let's see. If ugly was a cover. Mm -hmm. Ugly was a cover. Mm -hmm. Do I have books with ugly covers? Oh, okay, there's this particular one. This was a birthday present from my friend, Kenny. And it's an African literature book by Jane Labos. University lecturer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Abandons her job in England to go after her mother, Pearl in the wake of the coral blah 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 uh -huh. uh, also runs into a beautiful older woman who seems to be stalking her okay okay 
I still don't understand it, even though I read it. <laughs> even though I read the, pro, the, the synopsis, I still don't understand it. But this cover is not mm, fine to me. To me, it does not look okay. Because it looks like masquerades. Like, it looks like masquerades and masks. It looks kind of tribal, but I felt like if it was the old book, maybe I would like it. But it's not fine. Sorry. Then this is Verity by Colin Hoover. This cover is ugly. Let's not lie. Let's not lie. It's ugly because what is this? Like, what is this? So I think I will pick Verity by Colin Hoover because of the hype around it. And it's one of the books I plan to actually read in 2024. <laughs> Keep forgetting the year. So let's do another prompt. Ah, okay. A book with a title that contains punctuations. The old brown sisters has punctuations. See? Get a life, comma. Take a hint, comma. <laughs> oh, ask your age, comma. So the three of them have punctuations, but I've not even read any of them. And I'm thinking Get a Life, Chloe Brown is the first book in that series. So I'm just going to go out along with this one get a life Chloe brown i have had quite very very great things about it and from the looks of it she's a good girl is a bad boy because he's wearing a jacket and he's looking like a bad boy guy you know yes 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 he is a bad boy and she wants to live her life so i'm taking that i'm so excited oh my god my pics are looking sumptuous let's do one more because i don't want to be overwhelmed you know a book that has a place in the title beach read by emily henry beach is a place yes i've read emily henry's book lovers i've read happy place i've read um what's the one that just came out the most recent release Funny story. Yes, funny story. And I've not read Beach Read, so I want to actually get into this one also. So I'm excited. I lucky want to pick one more book because I enjoy picking these prompts. <laughs> Let's just do one more. And this is all. Okay, this. Please be a book that. A book by one of your favorite authors. Maybe in another life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read her um, Daisy Jones and the Six. Carrie Soto is back. Carrie Soto is back in my favorite. Daisy Jones and the Six was five stars. Um, one True Loves. I did not really like. I gave that one a four star. And Malibu Rising. Malibu Rising. And that was also five stars. But I think she's one of my favorite authors. Although I've, I have to say I have a lot of favorite authors. So I'm just going to go along with this one, maybe in another life, because um, I heard that this one is about a girl and we kind of follow her if she goes through this choice, choosing this guy or choosing this guy. So we go through, we go into her life. Yeah, we go together with her and we see how things are going to be if she does this or if she do does this, you know. So I, I find that very intriguing. Yes, I think that's all. So these, oh, look. <laughs> so these are all the books we are picking i'm so excited i hope i get into all of them they're actually quite very beautiful it's a very beautiful selection i'm happy i'm so happy <laughs> i'm going to be reading some books on my kindle i'm going to be reading um Sh the shadow and bone trilogy i actually want to prioritize that in june so wish me luck you guys yes i'll see you guys in my next video uses.